Hi, everybody, and welcome back. My name is Susan Day, and I am the owner and maker at Poor Girl Art. Today, we're going to be using our Lowly Veffy holiday box, and we are going to be making a couple of projects with this. Today, we're going to use the charcuterie board mold and the hors d'oeuvre plate mold. Guys, I love this box. I've made so many fun things, but let's dig right in here. So I have got some pre-mixed resin, and guys, for this part of the project, I actually use the Counterculture DIY Fast Set. And as always, guys, I will be linking all of my products down below, including this glitter. I don't have a code for it, guys, but that's okay. You'll find some other codes down there. So I'm going to start out, and I'm going to just make some of my geode shapes. Now, the Nice thing about this, guys, with the fast set resin, it only takes two hours to dry, and after that, I can move right on. And I know the fast set has a lot of bubbles, but honestly, you're putting a bunch of glitter in it. Those bubbles are not going to show in the end. You're not even going to see them, as you'll see in the close-ups of these projects at the end of this video. And as always, guys, if you enjoy my videos, please like and comment, and if you don't already follow me, please hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to ring the bell so that you get updated on all my new videos. So guys, I am just continuing here to lay down the rings or the bands for my geo shapes. And guys, these don't have to be exact. Do what makes you happy. These are so easy and so fun to make. Um, I don't know about you guys. I don't know if you've tried a geode shape. If you want more instruction on how to make your geode shapes for molds or for paintings, let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to do more videos on that. Geodes are my favorite. That is how I got started with resin art. And I'm always happy to share geodes. Okay, I'm going to move on here to the hors d'oeuvre plate. And I'm just going to continue to do the same thing. I'm going to make some random weird shaped <laughs> bands for my geode. These should be random, guys. Don't, don't overthink this. Don't try to get your lines too perfect. You want these to be um, kind of jagged and some parts wider and some parts narrower. It will be pretty in the end, I promise you. So don't give up on yourself. Just keep going. Have fun with this. Once I got my first basic shapes on, I let those sit and dry for a couple hours, and then I was ready to move right on to the next step, which we see here. Now those bands have dried, so now I have got some of my May Spring pigment powders. And again, I'll link all this below for you so you can find them. And I'm going to mix those up into some more facet resin, believe it or not. This works okay, guys. It'll all work out, I promise. So on this one, I've got um, two colors going in there. I wanted a lighter color. I didn't want that dark, dark red. So I added some white to it to lighten it up. It all worked out beautifully, as you'll see. And of course, you want to stir those up really, really well. Pigment powder is different from mica powder. Mica powder is, um, how to explain it? It's actually all metal or all rock. The pigment powders has stabilizers built in so that your colors don't deteriorate. And when you mix colors, they don't tend to get that muddy gray or brown look. They stay true. And these May Spring colors are top of the line. You guys if you've watched me at all, you know they're my fave. So I'm just going to continue here. Guys, I love these molds. They are so fun to work with. And this holiday box is a great value, guys. And on top of the already special pricing, when you use my code below, you get an additional 10% off. It makes it a wonderful value. You can give the box as a gift or you can do like I'm doing and you can make it to use gifts for your family and your friends. All right, guys, I'm gonna speed this up. I don't think you wanna sit here and watch me do this for four minutes. 
So I am taking my pigment powder mixed with my resin and I am just continuing to make those bands of my geodes. Guys, geodes are one of my favorite things to make. I absolutely love these. They're so easy. And if you would like to see me make more of these, please drop me a comment below. Or if you'd like to see me do something completely different, let me know. I'm always happy to help you guys out and give you tutorials on what you want. So don't be afraid to let me know what's going on in your brain and what you would like to see. Okay guys, once I got those bands done, I let this sit for a couple hours so that those could dry and I started adding my glass. Now what I've got here is some clear glass with reflective on one side. These will be semi-invisible or in the finished product, but you will have those little reflective bits and you will be able to see the edges. I'm also adding some of these pink glass. Now the clear and the pink both I got from Michaels. I buy those in bulk off of their pro site. You can too, anybody can, um, but you save a lot of money that way. So I'm just gonna continue to add these. I'm gonna fill this in now with the clear ones. This gives a really unique look in the end. Now you wanna be careful not to have any of those edges stick up over your mold so that you don't have pokey bits when you take your pieces out of the mold. So here we go. Now I've got my counterculture DIY thin viscosity resin. I got some bubbles on top. I need to get rid of those. And I am going to completely fill these molds to the very top without letting them overflow. So that our molds don't have any spots in them where it's not completely covered, okay? Now, when you do this, you want to make sure that your work area or at least your molds are level front to back and side to side. And you can see I've got those on a board. And I do that for two reasons. It's easier to level them and I can move them around so that I can work on the next project. So there I've got my heat gun. You want to be careful with your heat gun. You guys know this. You don't want to burn your mold. You can damage these molds with too much heat. Um, after you use your heat gun to get most of your bubbles out, you can also um, spray over them with your isopropyl alcohol. So here I've got them out of the molds, guys. We're ready to move on. Now in this step, I'm going to use my fancy gold pen. This is metallic gold, also from Lowly Buffy. Comes in this box kit for you. And we're going to make some lines on our geode. But first, I want to tape up the back. Super simple to do, guys. I'm sure you guys have all done this. You want to put that tape on there so that after we top coat these, that any drips on the bottom come right off. Super easy. You just use a heat gun, heat them up, pull your tape off. They all come off at the same time. And taping these off are it's easy, guys. Just make sure you get it flush with the edge of your piece. You don't want it sticking over or you'll have a little uh, shelf there when you get done. Just make sure they're level. Cut your ends nice and straight. You can see there I'm repositioning it. But this doesn't take long, guys. Uh, the whole process, I think, took me about three minutes. But because you guys don't want to sit and watch me do this for three minutes, again, I have sped this up. You can tell when I speed these up. I try to be transparent with you so that you know that it took longer than it looks like. Um, sometimes I don't speed them up much, but I always let you know when I've sped these up. I don't want to mislead you in any way. So now we've got that done, and I've got my fancy gold metallic pen also in this gift box. And I am going to draw some lines around some of my bands. Now, guys, you can skip this step if you like. I think it just adds a nice added touch to the whole project. But you do you. Now, you want to be sure you shake these pins up really well. And you want to have a piece of scrap paper or whatever off to the side to push the tip of your pin down. That makes your paint flow but you don't want to push that tip down on your project because you might accidentally get overflow from your pen onto your project and then you'll have to, 
then you'll have to deal with it. And guys, because these are permanent markers, if you make if you make a mistake, just grab some isopropyl alcohol and a little piece of paper towel or a little rag and wipe it off right away before it gets a chance to get too dry and too set. So I'm just going to continue this, guys. Like I said, this, this part is optional. You don't have to do it. I got that one done. Now I'm going to move on to my appetizer plate and you can see again I've sped this up a lot you guys don't want to sit here for five minutes and watch this you get the idea that's really all we're after here and I know you guys can do this okay now that metallic paint has had a chance to dry so I'm gonna I'm gonna raise my charcuterie board off the surface so that the drips drip on my lowly veffy mat and not. If this were sitting flat on my board and I did this, the resin would get under the board and just make a mess of the back of this. So you do want to elevate those. I'm just going to take a popsicle stick and spread that out. You want to be sure and get your sides as well. And guys, this, set, this step will seal in those paint lines so that they don't wash off. Okay, now we've got our little hors d'oeuvre tray. Because this has an edge on the outside of it, it's got that little, that little pop-up part. You don't need to elevate this one, guys, because it's not going to escape the inside of that tray. It's just spreading it with my finger. You just need a really thin coat here. You're not, you're not using a whole lot of resin for this. Just make sure you get this spread out and nice and as even as you can. And guys, it's a liquid. All liquid self-levels. It doesn't matter if it's resin, a mud puddle, milk. Doesn't matter. It all self-levels. So if you get this spread out nice and make sure all of your parts are covered, it will level itself. Okay, I'm going to use what's little left in my glass. Make sure I get those edges nice and covered. And that's it. All we have to do now is take a torch and get the bubbles out. So here I've got my little culinary torch from Amazon, making sure I get all the bubbles out of this. We don't want any left. It'll make those little pock marks or leave rough spots in it. And we want to make sure we eliminate all of that from our projects. And guys, then it's just a matter of letting this sit. This is thin coat resin, so it does take longer but I just set it aside overnight and let these dry and they're good to go. And here's the finished pro projects, guys. I think these came out super cute. I hope you guys will pick up one of these holiday boxes for yourself or for someone you care about. These projects are so fun to make and I will not let you down. I've got some more of these coming up, so be sure to subscribe. Thanks, guys.